I have a question from Genesis 3.16. When God was talking to the woman, he told her that, the, that her desire would be for her husband. Why does the ESV state, your desire shall be contrary to your husband? It's a good question, and there are different translation issues here with Genesis 3.16. The ESV says, your desire shall be contrary to your husband, but he shall rule over you. Uh, many translations say, your desire shall be for your husband. Um, so there's a little bit of a problem here, translation-wise. Uh, I think it literally means, towards your husband shall be your desire toward. Um, but it's hard to figure out if that's... Uh, for or contrary to or whatever so different translators do it differently a couple issues here some people think that it means her desire shall be for her husband so uh, it's a sexual desire based on the way this word is used in the song of solomon and so if this view is correct it it's based on the context eve had just been told that childbearing is going to be really really difficult and yet you shall still desire your husband sexually and so you've got that that kind of contrast there, perhaps. I think more likely, though, it's it's something else. If you look at Genesis 4-7, the same words are used in talking about Cain. You may turn your Bible and look at that and read it carefully and then compare it to Genesis 3-16 and see. I think what, what he's saying, what God is saying, is that Eve's desire shall be to rule over her husband. Her, her desire shall be contrary to her husband. So this is the battle of the sexes. This is the... This is an introduction of conflict and relationships, conflict even between males and females, but conflict in a, in a broader sense of just people having a difficult time getting along with one another as a consequence of the fall. So your desire shall be to rule over your husband, but he will rule over you. God put man in a position of leadership, and there's going to be that constant struggle from now on as Eve desires to rule over him, and yet God put man in a position of leadership in the home um, and in some other spheres as well and so there's going to be this ongoing struggle so i think that's what he's getting at in genesis 3:16. but again there's a lot of debate over this